Today on Keto and Friends, we have a transformation story from somebody in our Facebook family group. And we'll find out who it is right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so today we have another episode of Keto and Friends. And this one is extra special for us because it's somebody that we've known since really the beginning of our channel. Yeah, so uh, instead of having one of the YouTubers or somebody else from the keto community, we thought it would be fun to start every once in a while here on Keto and Friends having a transformation story. Because honestly, I think that that helps almost more than anything else is seeing somebody that has maybe the same or similar journey to what you have had and you can see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, we talk about it all the time on Keto on the Couch and on our live streams that we truly believe that sharing your story is going to inspire somebody. There's somebody out there right now that is going through what you're going through and when you see somebody else say, hey, I have the same issues, it helps us get along. So that's why we encourage you guys all to share your stories. And I don't think that there's a story more inspirational than Vivid J's. Yeah, so Vivid J has been a longtime subscriber. He is very active on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook family group. If you ever need to be inspired, if you need a little bit of motivation, if you need somebody to kick you in the butt and say, you can do this, it's Jason. Yeah. So recently we had an opportunity to sit down with him through Skype and talk to him a little bit about his transformation, his journey, some of the medical issues he's had and the struggles that he's had. Well, we are here with one of our subscribers. Actually, one of our favorite people. One in the of whole our favorite world. people, and uh, this person has actually been subscribed to us for a long time since since the beginning. And he has been so positive to us, always inspiring us, always inspiring each other. Somebody who is very active on our Facebook family group, really helping to motivate people. We've got Vivid J. Yay! Also, Jason is also his first, Jason. I'd like to congratulate so, both two crazy kudos on 10,000 plus you know, subscribers now. Well, thank, thank you. you. It you meant a lot for, for Jason to be there. Uh -huh. at that time because yeah we've we've been together since the beginning mm -hmm. and Viva J who's also a very talented singer mm -hmm. um, and musician <laughs> has always been just so inspiring and encouraging not just to us but to every single person who's been in the Facebook family group and they're starting out and you're kind of a little bit nervous to make friends and he's always been so welcoming to people yeah and just a special person Jason how did you find our channel I'm always um, curious. I think it was the ice cream review. Oh, okay. Point. I think that was one of the first episodes I saw of you. The only other person that was doing ice cream at the time was, I think, AD Keto. Uh huh. And um, and then because I was looking at different ice creams, and I wanted Rebel like more than anything because they didn't have them They didn't have anything other than just delivery at the time. And um, I was like, what, what should I get? What should I get? And then I waited for them to finally come out with that variety pack for the first time. And then I was like, I don't know if I really want vanilla chocolate. You know, that's yeah. plain stuff. So I wound up ordering like multiple things of different, of the ones that I figured I'd like, like uh, mint chip and coffee chip and strawberry. And, you know, I tried those flavors and they were really excellent. That's awesome. Well, one of the things that we always say, Jason, is that people's stories inspire other people, that there's somebody out there right now that is going through what you've gone through or what we've gone through, and when we share our story, it helps motivate them because they're like, oh, well, then I can do this. So we wanted to know, could you do us a favor and kind of share your story? Like, what was it that got you to finally make the decision like, hey, I have got to lose weight, and how did you find keto? Yeah, so I a bunch of years ago, before I got married, and um, before I met my wife, um, I, I had a heart attack at, uh, at the age of 29. 
And um, yeah, at that point, you know, I was, I was, I wasn't, I was overweight. I was, you know, borderline obese, I guess. I was like 235. And, um, and I, and that's when I had a heart attack and the doctor was like, yeah, you should go on, you know, a diet. And um, one of my parents' friends told them about the South Beach diet and which is a low carb diet, but not as extreme as what keto is. And um, it was very similar also to Atkins. And um, phase one is very similar to keto because it's extremely low carb. The only thing that's a little bit different is you're allowed to have um, like uh, lentils and, um, and, and beans, and that's about it. But um, pretty much everything else is just meat, cheese, and vegetables. And um, yeah, I mean, you take away the beans and yeah, the lentils, you're pretty much keto. Right. So, um, <laughs> but that's only for like the first phase, which is like the first two weeks to kind of detox you. And, um, and when I did it, I lost, um, I lost 50 pounds. I got down to 185, which is, I think, what I was in, when I was in college. Wow. So I was like really, you know, happy with that. And around that time, I met my wife. So it was like the perfect time, you know. Um, she had lost a lot of weight at that point, too. So we were both met, I guess, at the right time. And um, and we both but kind of kept it off for a couple of years, and you know, and then you know life happens, and I put on a ton of weight again. Like I I went all the way back up to three hundred pounds, wow. which you know is you know I can't believe how bad it got. And um, and I had a lot of more health issues along the way too. Um, I developed ulcerative colitis and sleep apnea and. I had a splenic infarction, which is basically a blood clot with your spleen. And I was actually lucky with that because it could have went to my brain and given me a stroke. So, yeah, and I didn't know what caused it. And the doctors didn't know. They did tons and tons of blood work on me. And my cardiologist kind of thought, mm, maybe it came from DF sleep apnea. I'm like, I don't know. And because you could have arrhythmias when you have sleep apnea. And um, I got tested for sleep apnea. And yes, I had pretty bad sleep apnea. So I had to wear CPAP. And um, yes, I was in pretty bad shape. And leading up to that, um, before I started keto, um, I had uh, really bad inflammation in my arm. I didn't know what it was. Like, I could hardly move my arm in it. You know, I, we were thinking, uh, we, we did a trip down and we were gonna maybe do top golf, and I couldn't even like swing a club. That's how bad it was. Oh my wow. goodness! So yeah, I had like like my range of motion. In my arm was like almost as bad as when I broke my arm. <laughs> like, and it was a di- it was a different arm, so I knew it had nothing to do with my broken arm. So um, yeah, so basically, um, when I had to go for an MRI, it was horrible. I mean, it was like. I almost have like a mental breakdown because, um, you know, you're in this really tight machine and I was like way over, way over, way, way obese, and morbidly obese. And, um, my hand was like touching the top of the machine. It was giving me shocks when I was, oh, wow. yeah, it was horrifying. And like, I had to go to an open MRI because, and even the open MRI wasn't that comfortable either. And I mean, I was like sweating like crazy. Like I was, almost having like a if i had to be in that machine for like 20 more seconds i would have had like a major meltdown and um and also you know what also caused me to want to lose a lot of weight was uh sick and tired of shopping at like dxl and spending like 60 dollars per item and it was like or a belt that cost 60 bucks i was like are you kidding me Mm -hmm. so yeah and you know and I wasn't looking great in clothes to begin with. So I'm like, why am I spending all this money on clothes? So, yeah, and I decided to go back to try South Beach again. And um, since I suffered from colitis, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll try to do it like a gluten-free version of it. And I was doing research. Um, this was like about the second week. And I came up, came, and all I kept seeing was keto, paleo, keto, paleo. And I was thinking, you know, maybe I should just forget South Beach. And, you know, there's a lot of great stories on both. And then I decided to go to keto. I, I wanted to 
figured I needed a more extreme version of it. And yeah, keto seemed more extreme. And it also, I also like that you can kind of like count your carbs and, you know, you're, you're kind of accountable. Mm -hmm. So that kind of made sense to me. And cause I, I really, all this time I've been doing it, I haven't ever used, I mean, you're going to kill me, but you know, other keto people are like, Oh my God, really? And like, yeah. I've never really tracked like every macro. I've only tracked carbs pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and I've always kind of been more of a whole foods person. Like I wasn't so much into, I mean, yeah, I added keto snacks later on more, but um, yeah, basically th during my weight loss part of my journey more before I've kind of maintained, yeah, I was pretty much strict keto, like, you know, only eating like meats, vegetables and nuts and cheese pretty much. And yeah, I did that for about 10 months, but the, the weight came off like you want to believe. And um, one of the first people um, on YouTube, um, her name is Allie McWowie. Uh -huh. Yes. Her. And like her story was like, oh my God, you know, the amount of weight that she lost. And, and she looks so skinny, like you would never think she'd ever have mm -hmm. a weight problem. And, and that's kind of like what I was, you know, in the back of my mind thinking, oh, you know, if I could get to that kind of a level, that would be, you know, I wasn't trying to get as low as I got, you know, I was... I was hoping to get maybe back to where I was around my wedding, which was like around the one, one ninety, like low one, one nineties or so. And um, yeah, and from once I hit that, um, you know, I was like, yeah, this wasn't so bad. And, you know, it was a lot more quicker than I thought I was going to get there. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to keep going. And um, you know, I was thinking, all right, let's get down to like 185, you know, which was like the low, the low, what I thought was going to be the lowest, which was the lowest that I was with South Beach. And then I had heard uh, Dr. Berg was uh, 185. I was like, all right, I'm going to go past Dr. Berg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I figured I would do that. And, um, yeah, I hit, I hit 180 and then, you know, that 180, I'm thinking, I haven't been 170 since probably college. So I was like, all right, let's keep going. So I went to 170s and then I was thinking, well, you know, high school, I was, I think my 160s. So let's go for it. So, you know, I, and I hit that and, and, and that's pretty much where I've been maintaining for since like August or so. So um, how many pounds have you lost altogether? Altogether, um, 135-ish. Wow. That is incredible. That is absolutely <laughs> incredible. And not only have have you gotten on keto and stayed on it, but your daughter is also keto. Is that right? Yeah, she um, she's been going. She had gone like um, really good. With, it took both her and my wife um, and her and my wife's parents. Like they had they had started it after I had lost about 120 pounds. I bought a ton of steaks. Uh, a little more than a month ago before they went up skyrocketed in prices which you know i found out the hard way uh, the other day right <laughs> and uh, yeah my daughter's been eating and i thought i had like enough steaks for like a couple of months and she's been eating them with me like every night and that's oh great you know <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that she's doing it but you know it's gonna cost me a ton of money now so but um yeah so she my daughter and she was um kind of not she was doing keto plus apples she was eating apples and i was like you know she's growing so um, yeah i'll let her you know i'm not going to be on her case about it you know if, if you're just cutting out a lot of the processed sugars and wheats and stuff like that and then occasionally you're having an apple or a banana it's not going to kill you I mean, especially at her age that's yeah like, that's great that yeah. she's just as disciplined as mm -hmm. she is yeah she's been amazing and yeah and now she's because um, I was going, I went to the market um, the other day and I called my wife and I was like, um, should I get um, you want me to get blueberries? Because like this one market has them really, really cheap. And, and she said, Sammy's not eating fruit anymore. I'm like, oh, OK, wow. <laughs> I, like, oh, right, I guess she's going more hardcore now. <laughs> That's it's, awesome. Uh, and how much weight has Sammy lost? I don't know. I, I, don't, I mean, she's in really good shape you know now um so I, but yeah i don't i don't actually know because she still she grew too right so oh, right yeah 
Yeah, I know you've put up pictures of her and you can see an incredible transformation. She's in her. Ab- yeah, absolutely I mean, we, we look at pictures from like two years ago and it's just, oh my God. Wow. And she was having a hard time with friends too um, last year when she first started. Um, and I think our friends were kind of trying to bring her back down. And, but she was strong with it. I mean, we, we were amazed. Uh, when I say we, like my wife and I, we were like amazed on her attitude. Like saying, you know, she does. She had an attitude that, you know, she doesn't need these people bringing her down. She'll just, you know, find new friends. Wow, that's awesome. that is awesome. I wish we could that's, be like that as adults. Great. Seriously, she is light years ahead of me in maturity. That is awesome. In, in some ways, she's like that. I mean, she's still a kid in other ways too. But yeah, yeah I mean, she's she's been pretty remarkable in, in her attitude. So, what were some of your great. struggles going along in the keto lifestyle? Yeah, when I first started, um, this was really crazy. Um, I was having a lot of pain, like um, in my lower gut, and um, I was like, "Think, oh crap, is it my gallbladder? All this fat, you know?" Like I was, I don't know what the heck it was. And I even bought Doctor Berg's gallbladder thing. I never opened it because <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'll see a doctor first, and re- a regular doctor first, to find out what's going on." And I'd gone to the hospital. And um, and they test and they said it was my gallbladder. It was my colitis acting up really bad. And that was actually the very last time that my I had any issue with my with colitis. But the the, the problem was was that they put me on a steroid, you know, oh. and actually they put me on prednisone, which is what they do when you have like flare ups with colitis. And I was supposed to be on the prednisone for months. You know, that's how, and they wean you, and you start at a really high dose and they wean you off of it. And I know that it was probably affecting my weight loss at the time. I, I mean, I was still losing, but I may have even been able to lose more. How long have you been on the keto diet? And in addition to the weight loss, what are some health um, benefits and reversals that you've seen? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's been a lot. Um, my inflammation. Uh, oh, first, um, I started in July of uh, 2018, like um, towards the end of it, because I had um, you know, I started with South Beach for two weeks, which was more or less was kind of keto, but I did have lentils. Yeah, the very, f- the, the big thing was with my colitis, I get tested um, every few months for uh, how much um, inflammation I have, which is called the C-reactive protein. And the healthy levels between zero and five and before I had begun, it was over 10. Wow. wow. So yeah, that was like insane, which is, you know, also the reason why I've had heart problems as well. That went down to like point zero point two or something like that. Wow. Yeah, from, from that. So that's like nothing. And my sleep apnea, um, that, yeah, I went back for more tests with that, and I no longer use a CPAP. You know, that's clean, cleared up a lot. Like, I, what I do is I use a pregnancy pillow because um, when I lay flat on my back, the doctor said, "Yeah, you do have some apneas when you do that," but a lot of people do. Yeah, you know, it's nothing that you know. Yeah, you know, it's just something that some people have, some people don't. Unfortunately, the only thing, well, this has nothing to do with keto, is I have a heart issue, which mm-hmm. is from, stems from my heart attack, and I'm going for a test later today and um, to see how my heart muscle is. Well, yeah. I know you have to go to the doctor. I have two quick questions. It's Tuesday, which brings yeah. up, I'm curious, I think I know the answer, but I'm going to ask you to tell us anyway, what is your favorite keto food, either whole food or packaged? Yeah, you you know what it is. It's it's wings, and, uh, <laughs> and it was it was actually some website. I can't think of the name of it right now. Where this guy was giving because yeah, when I first started, you know, I was looking for because you know for lunches at work, you know, I wasn't gonna always bring in lunch at work because I like to go out. So I was looking up restaurants and fast food places to 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 get my meals, and I saw Buffalo Wild Wings, and I was like, ooh, yeah. You know, let me try it. Like, I like wings. And, yeah, I mean, that was a game changer for me because, yeah, I started doing that. And, yeah, I mean, I was noticing, you know, like every day I had it and, like, my weight was coming off. And I was like, yeah, this works. This, this food works for me. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll have it. We've always loved Buffalo Wild Wings. And when we first started, we did. We got Buffalo Wild Wings every Tuesday 
and then we would get enough to last like three days and we would eat wings every day and then they got rid of the buy one get one free and mm -hmm. we're like yeah now this is an expensive yeah, was, option yeah the guy on, on the website said that they had that and i was like they don't have that buy me what the heck you know and, <laughs> And I found one that they did, and but it was like about 45 minutes from my jobs. And, and I did go there a few times to get it on Tuesdays when they when they had it there. And um, yeah, so it was a later lunch that I should have taken, but yeah, you know. Now something like now, amazing about Jason is, he is so encouraging. Yeah. So he will po put posts in the family group to make people laugh. Sometimes he will even like, have uh photoshopped where it's like filters. he's a girl like funny <laughs> filters yeah, he's always story, yeah. making That'll people laugh it. he'll he'll share songs mm -hmm. he has put in even incredible videos that are awesome like coffee talk time where he's yeah. making beautiful coffees in there and you're always so encouraging why do you think it's important to be that person that's that's friending people yeah, I, I mean, I just love the community, and I mean, I was so looking forward to going to KetoCon this year. Ah, oh, yeah, I wish. us too. You you just kind of feel like you want to share it with everybody. You know, there's knowledge that you know so many people don't know, and even people that are starting keto, like they just it, just learn the basics. And I mean, I've always kind of stuck with the basics. I don't go crazy, you know, like getting too deep. I mean, you kind of learn things along the way because, you know, there's just so much content out there now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I just try to stick with the basics. Keep your carbs 20 or lower. You know, I keep them really lower because I hardly even eat vegetables these days. I know my, my parents will kill me on that. But, <laughs> we like, won't tell oh, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, um, they, they've seen me eat out, like, when they've come up to visit and, like, they'll see me get, like, Bumless burgers and things, and yeah. I mean, they're they're shaking their heads, but I'm like, yeah. Well, look at me. <laughs> well, last question before we let you go, and you kind of yeah. were touching on a little bit there, but if there was one thing that you could recommend somebody who's just starting on keto, somebody brand new either to keto to our channel to our Facebook group, what would your like biggest piece of advice be to them? Yeah, I'd say mostly stick with whole foods. Um, that's their best bet. Um, as far as like keto snacks and things, um, you want to keep them very, very minimal in the beginning. You don't want to, you know, have too many of those because they can, you know, slow you down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you'll figure things out along the way, like what works best for you. And that's the thing is you want to kind of keep a log in the back of your mind, like what foods have worked, what foods don't work, um, you know first three months of keto was very much an adaption for me like i was you know kind of struggling a little bit it was tougher definitely the beginning is tough that that's definitely something you know you have to keep in mind you know because your body is completely switching to a new mm -hmm. fuel source so it can take like you know it could even take two to three months for you to finally get opt feel optimal mm -hmm. and i think that's how i felt because i wasn't able to fast or anything like I tried one day of fasting. Yeah, that was hell. You know, and I did it over the weekend because I wasn't going to try to turn, you know, when I had to work. So, um, yeah, I was, you know, yeah, it took me like, a, I'd say a good about three months for me to get that adapted. And, um, and during that time, I didn't have coffee. And maybe that's all me that I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like every morning, all I had was bacon and eggs. Oh, and another thing that I, um, got resolved was I was having really bad acid reflux, which, you know, for a singer is like really horrible. Yes. And um and the thing that made me kinda like a true believer of Dr. Berg was his concoction of lemon juice and apple cider vinegar and water. And and I wasn't even on I was even on a prescription med and it wasn't even helping. And then I took that for like three days, boom, it was gone. And it never really came back. Wow. And, That's awesome. Yeah, and yeah. that makes because I had that same thing with the acid acid reflux, and it is miserable, it, and it's all day long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's oh, it was terrible. If I didn't do keto, I may be dead. You know, it's it's you you don't know, because I was in such horrible shape, and my heart, you know, is not 
in great shape, but I know that the rest of my body definitely now is doing, you know, it's definitely striving with, with keto. Well, I think that you've been very brave too, Jason, because I think, I mean, for someone like me, who's a very emotional eater, when you have highs or lows, or you, you know, you have a bad situation going on, it almost becomes an excuse to revert back. And I mean, even during the time that we've known you, you know, you've had different things, ups and downs that have happened. And it was always an excuse to be like, okay, well, I'm just going to like give in to sadness and like, I'm just going to go eat whatever I want. And you know, be silly and like, you know, go backwards. And you haven't done that. Like you've just continued yeah, to I don't, I don't see the point of it at point anymore because uh, I mean, I love the foods. So right. it's, I mean, yeah, I've had treat meals. I don't like to use the word cheat, you know, I, I, I call it a treat meal, especially now, you know, that I've, you know, gone beyond my goals that, um, you know, that are not keto. I mean, I don't have them often, you know, maybe once a month you know, I'll go and get something. Like, I love Thai food. So that's like, you know, that's my number one thing is probably Thai food. And I've had, you know, some pizza. I do live in New Jersey, which, you know, has excellent, excellent pizza up here. Well, with that, I know it's Tuesday. I know you want to go get your Buffalo Wild Wings. (laughs) I I had them already. (laughs) Oh, you already had them. Well, we're going to go get ours. Yeah, yeah. I I, I prepared. (laughs) (laughs) So thank you so much for sharing your story. I know your story is going to inspire people. I love just being able to jump into Facebook and seeing, like, you know, you making your little post and always encouraging other people and continue doing it, continue taking care of that family. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we love you so much. You guys and have a fan for life here. <laughs> well, I mean, we're a fan of yours. So, <laughs> I mean, we're we're really hoping that you will start a YouTube channel because, like, yeah, because you're awesome. Yeah, I've had a bunch of people come up to me and say that to me. Uh, it's it's weird. Like, when you're on the street with people, you know, you, you, you talk about it. And, yeah, it kind of goes in one ear, out the other. And some people, like one person at work had tried, had done keto for a few months. They, they were doing great. And then... They just kind of gave up. It's, right. You, know, and you get that sometimes, unfortunately. But, yeah, I mean, I think the more knowledge that you get, too, is you start believing, you know, you start believing in it more right. and more. More and more you learn, I think. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and that's why I'm like, I don't see myself ever going back to, you know, old, old ways of eating. Because I know potentially the dangers and yeah especially in this quarantine time you know yeah yeah absolutely metabolically fit (laughs) as much as you can Uh, well when this time is over we've got to get to a a keto con of some sort so that we can actually see jason in real life yep well thank you so much jason we will uh, talk to you a little later you guys take care bye bye jason (laughs) I'm sure it's easy for you to see why we love Jason so much. Yeah, he is just an incredible guy. I loved having the chance to sit down with him and just kind of pick his brain, find out some of the different issues that he's gone through, you know, some of the things that's kept him going. And again, like I said, he's a jokester. If you just want to put a smile on your face, yeah. go check him out on our Facebook family group. And he's an incredible musician too. So if you need a song, he he will probably take a song request. Yeah. So that's going to be today's Keto and Friends. And if you have a transformation story that you would like to share with us and share with everybody else on our channel, let us know about it. You can either leave a comment down below or you can email us at stories at twocrazyketos.com and we can talk to you a little bit about and maybe feature you here on our channel. Please do a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.